Well, my first impression was that it was bright and cheerful looking because so, so many dentists are in run-down buildings. My previous one was, you know, with cracks in the walls and stuff like that. And this was so bright and cheerful. Plus, you can incorporate it into shopping if you want to. Um, then I met, and the, the receptionist was so young and cheerful. I know Carol was probably. Anyway, uh, I made an appointment and came along, and that was the first time I met Hanukkah. Hannah. Hanya. Hanukkah. Hanya. <laughs> Hanukkah. Where's that come from? I'm not Jewish. <laughs> yeah, I came along and met Hanya, and she, she was treating me as though she cared about the state of my teeth, you know, that she wanted to do something to help, that she wanted to put me on the right path towards dental hygiene and dental well-being, you know? It was brilliant. Um, then she warned me that uh, the next time there'd be a bit of blood and pain, and but there wasn't. I came in and every time I went, oh, she put some more of that gel on my gums to stop them hurting. She was brilliant, absolutely brilliant. She gave me the best scale and polish I've ever had. Well, I went to the dentist. I, I think it was about five. I'd not long started school when my little brother, I had a younger brother and a younger sister. And my brother was in a pushchair and I had a really bad reaction to the gas. Uh, it, it felt like a nightmare and I was hysterical afterwards, so hysterical that my mother had to put my, make my little brother walk and put me in the pushchair and that really put me off dentists. And I've had some not too bad experiences since then but this is the best dentist I've been to I think. Yes, I think so, I do think so, plus the fact that the staff are so nice, you know. You come into dentists, you don't want to be scowled at. The last dentist I had, the receptionist started as if she didn't care whether you were there or not, you know. This one smiles and talks to you, chats, asks you about things, tells you about her holiday, things like that, you know.